hey loves how you guys doing this is gloria and today is the last day of 2022 hey. hey told me about all your insecurities for what drag me like two hours to your family's house so congratulations to us if you're seeing this video then you should be grateful you should be grateful Tomorrow is the first day of 2023. I wish you God's protection. You're going to see that day and you will see the end of 2023 it's by God's grace. Amen. So guys, today I'm here to count my blessings. Like I'm here to, to show how grateful I am. 2022 was a very, it was a mixture of good and bad. Like I think everybody got a taste of that mixture. Like everybody got a taste of times that are good and times that are bad. But we are grateful to God that irrespective of anything we went through or anything I went through, because I'm speaking for myself right now, everything I went through, I came out strong from them. So guys, these are five things that I'm grateful for for 2022. Yeah, 2022 was indeed a year. Hey God. Like so many things happened this year. Like so many things happened. So many. I'm grateful for a whole lot of things, but I have tried to categorize them into the five major ones I will be listing. So guys, number one, God's intervention. I am grateful for God's intervention in everything that concerns me. You see, I see God coming through all the time, like all through 2022 for me i see god coming into situations that i don't even know like from the start i don't even know how it's going to look like i don't even know how i'm going to come out of it i don't even know who will speak for me i don't even have finance to see them through but i see god coming through like you know this kind of thing that you don't have any hope you don't have anybody to call you don't have in fact you are so helpless then all of a sudden god will just come and when it happens, you will just know inside of you that this is God. Like, God came through for me so much. In this year, I had an accident. Like, an accident, I've shared a story here. An accident that could have taken my life. Like, an accident that could have damaged my properties. But I came out from that situation and nothing happened. Still in this year, from January to these days, I have been going to work 4 a.m. in the morning and sometimes i come back as late as 12 a.m yes and god was coming through protection from accidents from bad boys you know like god just keeps showing up still in this year i was accused by a colleague yes not one i think two or three of them i was accused by them and this accusation i'm telling you about it's not a cherry can be accusation. It was an accusation that the accuser went as far as wanting to even do investigations just to make sure I go down for what I know nothing about. But God came through. Like God intervened. And God did not just intervene after I've been accused. You know, God is just the master planner. God had even arranged the whole situation before this. I am even sure that if whoever these people are, if they had known that, god is so conscious of me the way he did if they had known that god loves me that much i don't even think they would go on with that but god planned it right from the start god came through for me like so much this year. number two thing on my list is that i'm grateful for the people around me yes i'm grateful for family i'm grateful for friends I'm grateful for my colleagues. I'm grateful for everybody around me this year. This year, I think I had less drama with people. I had less drama with people. Maybe because I actually worked on myself. I had to read books and I had to do some self-development courses and programs. I think that really helped me because I had less drama this year. Last year was very dramatic. So I had less drama this year. And I hope, of course, next year, zero dramas, you know. So I'm using this video to say thank you to every member of my family. You guys are too much. Thank you, Chisom. Chisom especially, that girl. I don't know. I'm sorry to every other member of this family. 
But you see, Chisom, Chisom is the most understanding being on earth. And I thank God for her. You are so stress-free. You're so understanding. I thank God for Amaka, for Oluchi, for Daniel, for Okuchuku. I thank God for every of you. God bless you guys so much. Then my mom. My mom. I thank God for my mom. That woman is very understanding and strong. I get to know about my mom's strength after my dad's death. And every time I look at her, I just go like, God. How can you give just one person this whole strength? My mom is strong. And I beg you, God, please. She should just keep being this strong for us. Then to my friends, every of my friends, I have some friends that I will just stay and I will call and say, I beg, send me 200,000. Before the end call, let's don't enter. I don't want to name, I don't want to call people's name. I don't want to start mentioning names because I know I might just keep one and it won't go well. So that's why I'm just generalizing you guys. Like you guys are so wonderful, so wonderful. I thank God. I thank God for the love you guys have shown me. I thank God for the support. I thank God that you guys don't judge me. And please, not judging me does not mean you shouldn't correct me. No. Whenever I do anything that is bad, kindly go ahead and correct the hell out of me. Yes. So I thank God for you guys. I thank God for every of you that made 2022 is beautiful thank you so much then my colleagues my almighty and honorable shift members shift c you guys are so wonderful like you guys made leadership very easy like you guys made it look like i'm doing something special i'm not doing anything it's just you guys it is you guys being cooperative respectful and responsible if not for that i don't know so you guys should take this as a thank you i appreciate you guys so much thank you so so much i went to different places like i visited a lot of places this year like i think i went out a lot this year and it's just because i have you guys in my life thank you thank you guys so much i really appreciate you guys thank you and thank you and thank you and thank you so much so the number three thing i'm grateful for i am grateful that my spirit man was strong enough to guide me through 2022 guys the shege i saw in 2022 was too much in fact i have never felt the effect of adulthood like i felt it this year i had i don't know where they are coming from i had so many challenges if it's not me it's any of my siblings or something and it was too much in fact this year some nights i would be crying and i'll be asking myself why like is there anything that I did last year that I did not do? Or is it because my dad is dead? And I will now remember, my dad did not die this year. My dad died last year. So why am I having this much effort? Like, I saw plenty shaggy this year. Like, it was too much. And I'm grateful that the me in me stood for me. Like, I did not break down. I did not break down. Coupled with work stress, I was still strong. I'll tell that to myself. I was still very strong. I was strong to still go on and I came out victorious from every situation. Was it as to strike? That, it, that one to some extent was even going to make me regret and I hate regretting. So at some point I was now wondering, ah, ah, could it be that all the advice of Jackpa and the rest of them, I could have taken it because I had so many people telling me then that how could you go and buy a form in Unilab to go for masters? You could have well just travel out. And I was wondering, I, in fact, I nearly went into the depression, coupled with the fact that Chisum was also on strike. And any little thing that, that affects Chisum affects me. So whenever she's complaining, I just feel like, hey, God, this girl, just be fine. So I thank God for the fact that I did not, I did not lose it. I did not lose it. I was still strong. Also in this year, I lost a lot of money. Like, I lost a lot of money. Different investment I did. I never see my money, like, I never see. And the money I'm talking about, maybe small money, oh, it's not, it's not a 1 million, 2 million, 3 million. 4 million money I'm talking about. I'm talking of money I lost. Though they are saying it's still there, you will still get your money. But you know, when you're not getting it, how is it? This is just this year. I'm not talking of last year. This year, I lost a lot of money. In fact, you see next year, all I want to do is save. Anything we concern investment, I'm sorry. I'm not there. I just want to save this next year. Because this year, the money I saved, after saving, you go and invest. I lost like everything and it's painful and still I was still strong. I'm very sure my friends and my family, they are just hearing this for the first time through this video. That is because 
Agbakami, like I just accepted it that okay, oh, it don't happen, and I was fine. I was strong. I was very, very strong, like mentally, physically, I was very strong. And of course, it's the me in me. So that's why I'm grateful for that girl in Gloria. So guys, number four, I'm grateful for my job. I'm grateful for my job. You see, irrespective of the fact that you can say, eh, I have a business, you are doing this. You see that job, that job is very important. And I'm grateful for the fact that on the job, I am growing. I am grateful for growth. I am grateful that I accepted change. I welcomed change. I had myself enrolled in different self-development courses. I read a lot of books on self-development. I tolerated a lot of things. Like, I was very calm this year. I know, you don't have to tell me. And if you'll be truthful to yourself, you will agree with the fact that I am very calm this year compared to last year. I am very, very calm. Like, I make excuses for people now. Like, I just try to make excuses for you. This is because I developed myself. I worked on myself. I read books. I paid for courses. I paid for seminars. I went for workshops. Like, I worked on myself and it's manifesting. I am seeing the work of every effort I've had on myself. And that's one thing I'm grateful for because. If, if I just lived this year the way I lived last year, I would still be going into next year with some attitudes I have dropped. Yes. I don't make excuses for people before. Like, I try to give you as you are giving me. But this year, I think I make a lot of excuses and I try to welcome people. Like, I, I accommodated people a lot this year. I was kind to people a lot this year. I, I make, as in, I just let people have their way a lot this year. And trust me, they are intentional. Also talking about self-development, this year, I got closer to God. By myself, I developed a means and a relationship with God. Like, I communicate with God. I hear him talk to me. And I understand everything he's saying. And funny enough, in this year, all the times I called on God, he came true. Like he came through hundred percent and this I did by myself. I did not go to any prayer house this year to go and kneel down and start asking for miracle. I did not. I spoke to God all the times I had to by myself this year and he came through for me all the time. Last on this list is this platform I'm talking to you guys with, YouTube. So in this year, I started this channel. I started this channel two months ago. Procrastination nearly killed me. Like, procrastination nearly killed me. You know what? You are you are seeing your dream. You are seeing what you like. You are seeing your passion. There, you don't need anything. I did not pay to start up this channel. I just started it. And I'm using my phone. I'm using normal natural light. My tripod is stairs of chairs that I arranged. You know, I've not even gotten anything. There is no mic. So imagine I started this since when I had this dream and urge for it. But procrastination would not let me do it. So this year, I won. I started this channel. And please, if you're seeing this video, kindly subscribe to this channel. Like this video, comment and share it. Biko, Biko. So that this dream of mine will grow and expand. I've been able to list some of the things that I'm grateful for this year. And I just hope I'm able to cover a lot of them. In fact, I'm grateful for everything that happened this year. Like, I'm grateful for everything. Even the ones I did not mention, I'm grateful for them. For the good, for the bad. Because every of the shege I saw this year made me doubled up. Made me want to work more. Made me want to go and look for another means of income. Made me want to... In fact, it, it, it is even some of these shege that I saw this year that made me do the investment that I lost the money. In fact, this year... But I'm still grateful. And I have a very, very, very solid hope that next year is going to be the best year I will experience. Trust me, guys. Next year, next year is going to be wonderful for me and also for you. So, guys, onto my next video. Kindly subscribe to this channel. Like this video. And, of course, you know what's up. Share it. So, guys, I'll see you on my next. Cheers. Tell me about all your insecurities for what? Drag me like.